Hello, J 老师。Hi, OK J. Yeah,、uh, thank you for making time for this、uh, to be my PSLE invigilator. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Before we do the paper, I thought I wanted to so just go through how I've studied, and then maybe you can kind of give your your two cents about it, and maybe even help me find、uh, room for improvement. Okay, sure.、Uh, so over here, one of the things I did very early on was that I would copy just the entire chapter.、Mm. So my thought was that okay, if I copy every chapter, then I would through the process of it. Learn the words, but I ended up realizing that it took up too much of my time, and so I write, but then I don't know what I'm writing. Yeah, so it's so, just going through the motion. Yes, and so what I did later on was that I focused on let's say the 500 most common words、mm. because I wanted to use it as a way to encourage myself. Like, oh, I only need 500 words. But then after that, I realized that just、uh, learning the words without context doesn't help. Yeah, because it's just characters. Yeah, it doesn't make contextual meaning. And it doesn't help you even to learn new vocab because it's just you know singular characters. It's good if it in the process you gain some confidence. If let's say I've met、yeah. you at the start of the year, how would you have best advised me? Because you have that foundation at least in the conversational skills, so maybe you can tap on that. Maybe you can start with even watching dramas. Actually, you know. no interest. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, so news also no interest. If you watch news, I new, tried to,、right? but then I came to that problem where. I didn't enjoy the way that they were presenting because it's a,、uh, it's very formal, and I don't hear that today today conversations. Like right now, I'm really enjoying the、uh, Chinese Spotify series that I am、uh, listening to. I enjoy the topic. I enjoy the dynamicness. Yeah. So like, if I'm driving, if I'm working out, I listen to that rather than music, which helps. Ah.、Uh. Hmm. Okay. But, But then the 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 only downside to that is you don't get to see the characters. So you're really only learning the 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 you know in terms of listening, you may be able to improve a bit on your talking. But then doesn't help in writing and reading. The hope was that like now, if I watch news now compared to、yeah. uh, a few months ago, I can appreciate it more, and I will be less likely to feel hopeless. Because some I see the subtitles, I still don't understand. Because it almost feels like I'm doing too much too fast. What are your thoughts in terms of like doing certain tasks that you know will help, but too early? Where do do we find that balance?、Mm, that's a very good question. Because I mean, sometimes we also need some challenge, right? But the challenge shouldn't be so great that you know it's like you don't understand anything. So I, I guess a benchmark would be maybe if you could understand fifty to seventy percent, you could go ahead. I think the the learner himself should be able to gauge how much he can understand from that. Okay, now I feel like listening to other people in Chinese. I'm at the best I currently am,、mm. and in terms of conversing, it's gotten better. When it comes to reading, slightly better, but also it's pattern recognition. But then after that, when it comes to the writing, that has always frustrated me because in our use of the Chinese language, we type more than we write. But if the Chinese O levels was done on a computer. I think I could have saved a lot of time. Do you find any merit writing to learn? Because when you write, you also remember better. So I guess that is already one of the benefits, lah. So writing practice, of course, helps you remember how to write them. There's no way I can look at it, try to remember in my brain. It, it won't work. I need to really write it out. So that one, there's no shortcut. One thing that I would like to confess is that I never read all these books.、Hmm. From end to end. Okay. What I do is that I would go into the final,、mm. the final page, which tells you what are the things that you should read or should write by this level. Yeah. And what I'll do is that I'll only actually read those segments. Then once I read the story, I will then write it down. What do you think about this method? I think this is a very、uh, good method and quite innovative. But I mean, if your goal is not just to learn this three, but also to Use them as a whole、yes. a sentence in a conversation. Then maybe this is not enough. I I would say maybe make yourself form sentences using this to、so、write、um, your own story. Yeah, it's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, diary writing can be a good way to start. Oh, diary writing. <laughs> so you basically, uh, use stories to yes remember the words, but、yes. then to use them, then write my own stories. Form sentences. Form I sentences. I would say that's why we always talk about 造句 right? And then from 造句 to 作文 this is a progression. Oh, okay. Right. So effectively, what I'm doing over here is 
in my own way reaching to step one. Mm. And what you're suggesting to me now is that, okay, so there's a step two, which is Zhao Ji. And yeah, building on it. What you see her now are nine months worth of studying. With that in mind, is this a lot? Is this actually well, quite little uh, based on how you would expect someone to study? I mean, as a teacher, of course, typically when you prepare for an exam, you know, you would expect more like mock papers. After all this learning, if you test yourself regularly, uh, then maybe it gives you, on the one hand, more confidence also. So one thing I was really fixated on is mm. to find the joy in learning. Okay. And what I ended up doing is that I started to not even care about doing past year papers, mm. which was very new to me as an ex-student. Is this belief of not doing mock papers in preparation for exams something that you may be encouraging me to do in my future challenges? You know, different people have different uh, ways of learning. Not every method suits everyone. You know, just, just use one that you think is the most effective. Like for example, if you thought, hey, you know, with my just everyday practice, I'm able to do the papers. For primary, you can still smoke through, but maybe for secondary, who knows, maybe you need two or three more uh, practice sessions before the real thing. It's more of getting used to the format mm. and, and what is required, mm. right? Because after all, it's a, it's a test. Marks is only one aspect. Even if I don't score so well, I'm, I'm not so exam smart. But it doesn't translate into, oh, I'm not good at the language. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna find out soon enough. We're gonna use the 2021 test paper just to see how well I fare. I would purposely put on my headphones so that I wouldn't hear your live commentary. And then I look forward to you then marking my paper and then telling me how I do. Uh. Okay. okay. How excited are you? Are you okay? I am very uh, anxious about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A star is the only benchmark uh, I would set that can really tell, that can really differentiate lah, a good student from a may struggle student, right? Meaning you get above 91 marks. I mean, if you have been uh, studying, right? Uh, learning the words, how to write them, how to recognize them. Front part shouldn't be that difficult. Section one, question one. Although there might be a bit of hesitation, there might be a bit of deliberation. Like, is it this one better or that one better? But I shouldn't take more than three seconds. <laughs> I'm skipping seven and then coming back to it because I know what is Ling Shi and I can read all four options, but it feels like it's trying to trick me. For number seven and eight, they are testing on the vocabulary meaning. Students may be distracted or confused by some of the options which are not the meaning of that word, but may make sense as a kind of explanation of what is going on in the sentence. Usually the one that comes to you first is the correct answer. Oh, nine and 10, he did it with very fast. So that one was uh, the so yi, dan shi, and all those conjunctions. And, and this is the part that some secondary schools still struggling, right? Because they don't use Chinese. So this is where the everyday use helps. Question 13 to 15 are all about the which sentence is 正确. So this one tests on the meaning of the word, but then not just that, I think, it's, it's also how to use the word. So that always comes out as the tough part. Because I mean, the setter of the exam also knows what confusion students will have and purposely put it as one of the other options. So maybe this is where it differentiates A star and A, maybe. So segment two will be the close passage. Yeah, they call it Tuan Wen Tian Kong, where you have to select out of four, which is the Si Yu that again, sentence and context of the passage most nicely. All five questions are equally difficult. For example, you look at 17, Ling Yang de Ren Zen Yang Zhao Gu Xiao Dong Wu Shou, is it Jiao Dao Gu Li, Ming Ling, or Ti Yi? All four can make sense in terms of meaning, but then we need the context. I'm skipping 19 first. 
Yeah, but for things like 19, then, you know, I, I will need some time. Even for me, I can't just look at the sentence alone. I need to see the story because I really need to know what happened even in the previous paragraph because it connects from there. It's either one or two because I can read three and four and I know they are not right. So usually there will be one other option that is the closest to it and the other two are like giveaway. So I think for this question, I would choose 简直. The MCQ comprehension. Oh, okay, section 4 because it's just filling in the sentences in this two-way conversation. So again, normal daily conversation helps in this. It will be a breeze. Lah. I'm going to section 5 because I did it in 2 minutes, which is strange. So then here's that question, uh, section 5. So this one is an advertisement. The last one being an email that you send to your friend. Yeah, I don't but think he will. I think he has fear in writing. But I think for him, because he has been practicing writing, and if he just keeps to simple words, maybe he can still pull through. Okay, a quick observation is that he looks like he's struggling at things. Okay, Jay, where are you? Where are you now? Like oh, Actually, okay. Uh, okay, so, so he, 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 he did struggle at the email. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very mundane stuff. It's, it's nothing critical. For someone who is already proficient in Chinese, this is like too easy. This is like too boring. <laughs> I know I'm writing very long. It's kind of long. <laughs> I mean, it's just four marks. So probably one or two paragraphs would be more than enough because that is the part where we are testing on whether you can give a concise answer, right? So. If your answer is too long, it also tells me that that may be a hurdle for further learning. Okay, I'm moving to the final section. So I think he breezed through 34 and 35, 5, and now at 36, Xiaonan还去花店的目的是什么? Unless he has a problem stringing it into a sentence, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, so an A-star student would not just be able to extract the right data, but also phrase it in the best way possible. Whereas an A or B student probably struggles, sometimes even in extracting data. It's at 39, huh? Okay, that's, that's very good because it means that in terms of reading and understanding, he is definitely there and maybe even far beyond the average primary 6 student. Uh, one, because of his age and you know his, his understanding of the world, uh, definitely he is already well beyond the primary 6. And also recognition of words since has, he has been going through very diligently writing the vocab and, 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 and all that. Overall, how much do you think this for? Based on yeah. Time? At least 75, I would guess. But from what I know, he did tell me he did a P5 mock paper and it went... He's caught pretty well. Yeah. Like 90, 91%. Correct. So I was hoping, or rather, I, I thought he had a chance la, of still getting 91. Yeah, but it seems that he had struggled a little bit on some questions. So I don't know how badly that will affect his final marks. Yeah. 80 whereabouts. La. Okay, shall we? <laughs> Walking. Okay, uh, Jay Lao Si. Uh, I think you sit here. Yeah, I hope the one and a half, like one hour forty minutes, not as long for you as it is for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I guess so. I guess so. I was just doing commentary and uh, yeah. analyzing as best I can. I think you were the one really doing the hard work of uh, and a lot of brain power. So before you see uh, hopefully the fruits of my labor, uh, any key observations? From the looks of it, you only struggled in I think a few segments if I'm not wrong. Uh, although they may be crucial segments, but then I thought for the vast majority of the paper, it was still a breeze for you. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> um, you hong pima? Yo, yo, yo. Okay, then we, we do it a proper way. Uh. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, let's see. Jiang Bei. So Jiang Bei, not an issue, right? Not an issue. Only uh, just... this Jiang and first sound, and then Bei will be fourth sound. So number two for this one is Tun and Qing. Yes. Oh, correct. Okay. Also, yeah. And then uh, Qing Le Shi Lo Bing Ke. Mm. Bing Ke will also be four. Okay. Okay. And Gong Ji is number one. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. So far, fine. first, first, fine. first stage yeah, 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 is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First stage is like first stage right. is okay. <laughs> And then Xiao Ming too ran Bing Le. We just have Ling Shi. So Ling Shi just now you, you you were like hesitating between one and I believe four. I'm skipping seven and then coming back to it because I know what is Ling Shi and I can read all four options because I wanted to put number one and then now I'm not hundred percent sure. So I'm guessing the answer is not one lah. <laughs> yeah. So then the answer is actually option four, which is 发生之前，事情发生之前的那一刻。So Okay, oh. this one, your first, okay, first error. Your first okay. error, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if this one I get wrong, I will be disappointed. Because <laughs> I feel like I, I caught the trick and then yeah. I did it. Yeah, number three would make sense because some of the number three. Yes. Okay, this one I get wrong, right? Mm. So, <laughs> okay, this one you didn't get the trick. I didn't get the trick, man? Yeah, you, this one you were tricked. Your answer is Yang Zi is very careful. Both Mu Guang and Yang Zi is is actually careful. So then the answer is two already, oh. So the two is also wrong because it's Biao Qing. What the? Yao Qiu is more appropriate than Biao Qing. Hmm. Yang Zi or Mu Guang. Okay. So now the second section. Yes. 实现愿望 Yeah. Okay. 教导人们这样子，然后培养。Oh, good. Okay. 曾经，曾经 would be weird because like. Like, do you know the meaning of 曾经 It's either one or two, because I can read three and four, and I know they are not right. So two, I didn't know how to read. Number one, on the other hand, there's a... I'm not sure whether it's 坚持 or not. Is it 坚持? It's actually not 坚持. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's 坚持. Okay. That makes more sense, really. Then obviously, I would have chosen one. So with the sound... Ah, I wish I could have got the full mark, but okay, I understand that it's a it was about almost careless mistake. Mm. If I had read this in my mind correctly. Yes, yes. And then this is the compre. The easy okay, one, the Easy one. Oh, okay. Two. Okay, but but. Ah ah. When I put four, a uh, three fours, I knew one of them were gonna be off. Yeah. <laughs> no way okay. this would happen. Man. Okay. Okay. This one you didn't have a problem. I'm going to section five because I did it in two minutes. Correct. 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 All your sequences. Yeah, you're strong in this. You're strong in sequence. <laughs> Currently, that helps me preserve some marks because we are about to enter uh, the two sections which uh, take up the most amount of uh, time. Okay, so 33 is the email. So email mm. you are writing to your friend. For someone who is already proficient in Chinese, this is like too easy. This is like too boring. Hmm. So long as it works, alright. I don't see anything wrong with your answer. This will be my first uh full marks for return. Eh? Yeah. If you declare it so. Yeah. Okay, let, let's see. Eh? The answer is quite short. But if if this one still holds <laughs> up, I mean the de if delivering more yeah. it doesn't have to be penalized. I really think it shouldn't be penalized. Okay. Very good. Okay, so maybe we will we will just give you full marks for this. Can. Okay. The last section. The last section. The pain yeah. of my existence. Okay, the first two questions quite straightforward lah. Is Huang Ran Da Wu. Fantastic. Perfect. Right after that comes the real deal lah. <laughs> okay, so thirty six. Xiao Nan Hai Qu Hua Dian 的目的是什么？嗯。Right. What you wrote was that Wen Hua will be there to 祝李老师教师节快乐。Oh wait, who is Wen Hua? The 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 boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because all oh, because all yeah. of them just put Xiao Nan Hai, so I always just assume uh, that Xiao Nan Hai doesn't have a name. And uh, I don't know whether we give half marks. Oh, I mean, be strict. <laughs> I I rather yeah, be strict now yeah, so that yeah, I can yeah. learn. Like, yeah, I I will give two, give two, two, two first. Okay, then thirty seven is 算了小男孩的前后。然后他为什么差点笑出来、嗯、？Why would you say？ 虽然我只有二十块，但是我要买一个十五块的东西。I need more than rice, right? At this point in time. No, no. Then you don't need. Oh, okay. Right. Oh. So for this, I also can't give you full marks because I don't think it's fair. <laughs> you know, I would say though that question today is one of those classic cases where you can just copy the entire paragraph, which basically is what you read, lah. Yeah, but you were able to identify, so nice, yeah, nice. So definitely full marks. Okay, thirty nine. I mean, we know they cannot be full marks. Yeah, but this is like near full marks. Okay, but let's just let's just give it three. Okay, three let's just give it three. That's as right? near as you can go. Yeah, again. yeah. Okay, last one. Last one. Really, the final determinant. So this one you wrote. My father, ah, is, is, person, is. Oh, I. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Allow me, allow me to. So okay, but then,责任感 there is very good. Yeah. 
Like the San Liang, you didn't manage to write the word. Mm-hmm. Oh, for... <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay, like maybe two. Right? Maybe two. Okay, so okay. let's tabulate the marks. Yes. Si, uh, liu la. Liu la. Liu. Two, four, six, eight. Twelve plus three. Fifteen. Seventeen. Okay. That's quite high. So then we told it. So this is 71 out of 90. Yo. 71 divided by 90. 78%. Uh. You're, oh, you're on the door. <laughs> so, high, yeah. 70, high 70, low 80, 78%. Uh. Firstly, thank you so much for spending the time to be part of this milestone with me. I'm going to take a few more weeks and the months ahead to prepare myself before I jump into the secondary school. So do you have any uh, parting words of advice for me on how to prepare as I step into this uh, next stage? Uh, just as your preparation for PSLE has shown, maybe, you know, writing of words. You have not fully <laughs> actually attained the ideal level of competency. So for that, I really recommend uh, doing more writing practice. Right, of the same word, not, not of words that are new, of the same words that you know you can't write. I thought that would help a lot in terms of uh, remembering how to write. So it's just an exercise? Uh? Yeah. yeah, there's no shortcut in terms of writing. It took me nine months to get up to this point. There's nine months left before, the whole before doing the whole levels. level. What are your honest thoughts about mm. that? Am I mm. improving mm. fast mm. enough mm. to do the actual mm. O-level <laughs> in May of next year? I don't want to be too optimistic, but, but at the same time, you are getting uh, 78% for the you know, PSLE Chinese paper. I would say there is a fighting chance. What's most critical to my success for that? Continue with the conversations, you know, continue with the, you know, being persistent about practicing, whether it's speaking or reading or writing. I think if you do these three items, on a regular basis and on a consistent and you know diligent manner. I don't think anything can stop you. Lah. I wouldn't say it was going to be a breeze. I wouldn't say it's going to be a guarantee. But then you know you 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 get to move a lot of hurdles away if you're able to do all this. Yeah. Well thank yeah? you very much for your time, Jace. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great.